Hey, what up guys? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk about Brandon Ingram. I promised I was going to shoot a video on this and share my thoughts about what I'm thinking about Brandon Ingram um, as of late. Um, as you guys all know, Ben Simmons and Brandon Ingram are slated to go number one and two in the in the draft, right? 2016 draft. Lakers are currently in the number two slot. Philly being in the number one slot. So if it was to end today the way it is in the standings, Philly would take Ben Simmons. We would take Brandon Ingram. Now, a lot of us want Ben Simmons initially. Everyone's tanking for Ben Simmons and whatnot. A couple weeks ago, I went on record saying that, you know, after watching film, we should just take, we, we need a Brandon Ingram, you know, based on need. Um, because the Lakers um, need a three. We need a long athletic three that can shoot, and that is Brandon Ingram. We don't need a guy in a four that plays a four because we have Julius Randle, who's our future, putting up 15 and 19, right? Um, definitely, Ben Simmons is not going to come in and take over uh, Julius Randle's spot. They're the same size, but Julius Randle is actually bulkier and plays quicker and, and, and bigger at that position. So he is our clear number four. So I said, you know what, let's just, I go on record, like, regardless, we need to pick Brandon Ingram. Now, the problem is, I was going based on that on highlights. And over the last couple of days or so, I was able to watch Duke play twice, live on TV, on TV, on ESPN. And after watching him live, after watching a player live, I'm not excited about Brandon Ingram anymore. And that's the problem is with these highlight reels, very deceiving, right? It only shows you the good side you don't see 100% of the game, right? So you see him, you see when I see Brandon Ingram, why I'm not excited is because he did not look explosive. He did not look fast. He looked slow. There are, but there were so many players in those games that aren't going to make the league that were much faster, stronger than he was. They were more aggressive than he was. And these are two games in a row. Yes, he is a spot up shooter. Duke uses him as a spot-up shooter, and he knocks down a good percentage of, of his shots. But he can easily get boxed out. He can easily get muscled out. He's 6'9", 190 pounds. Just put that in perspective. I'm 6'1", 195. So I'm, and I'm not that tall in terms of like, you know, basketball. I'm like Derek Fisher size, right? And I'm, I weigh more than he, and he's like 6'10". So he's 18 years old. He's obviously still growing. He looks bony. Now, having said all, said all that, yeah, maybe he hit a wall. Maybe he hit a, rookie, uh, a a freshman wall, and he's getting tired. And so when I'm watching these games, I'm seeing him take like plays off. He does not look aggressive. He's not active constantly. And so my whole my whole mindset of being excited about oh we can get this 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 you know this future potential uh, superstar guy and, and come in to really help us, that's not the case. And so I think if it all plays out, we still have to pick him regardless at number two because of the potential. But the way I see it is it's going to be a process. It's going to be, he's going to have to, we're going to have to wait till he's 23, 24 when he fills into his body and he can really, be able to dominate at that position. He's not dominating at that position. Um, there were like three or four, three, three players on Duke's team that aren't going to make the league. Gr uh, Grayson Allen will make the league probably, but he's not going to do, do much in the NBA. But he's better. He looked much better. Um, there's a couple other guys that looked faster. A, a couple other guys on the other team that looked faster and stronger. Um, so my thing is this, is that you know, as a Laker fan, I, I've been watching, the, I've been a Laker fan for like 30 years, right? But we are new to this first round, <laughs> first overall, second overall pick. I mean, we've been, we've had good teams the last 20 years. I've never had to study what a college player is likely to do when he comes into the league. Now we're drafting these 19 year old kids and we don't know what to expect. And so we're like in the dumps. We're like in, 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 in uh in in panic mode we want to get back to the playoffs so we're thinking oh we got the number one number two pick these guys are going to come in and help us right away but guess what that's not the case these guys were 18 year old kids 
They're 18 year old. So a lot of these players who have taken a couple of years to really mature and really impact an NBA team, the Steph Currys, the Clay Thompsons, the Draymonds, the Kawhi Leonard's, the Jimmy Butler's, uh, you know, these guys had played three years in college. And on top of that, they dominated their position. Right now, I don't see Brandon Ingram dominating his position. Um, everyone that has has stepped up and dominated in ABA, NBA dominated their position. Uh, you know, Greg Greg Olden, um, Jaleel Okafor, Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Davis, Julius Randle, uh, D'Angelo Russell. Um, uh, who else? You know, Blake Griffin. Um, you know, Chris Paul played several years in college. Duncan played several years in college. They all dominated. Um, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving, uh, Kimba Walker. These are guys who dominated their, you know, even Steph Curry dominated in the NCAA tournament. These are guys that have shown dominating alpha male tendencies in the in college. Brandon Ingram is not showing that right now. So I'm not excited about him. Now, if he stayed another year, or two in college, oh, he would be freaking LeBron James-esque type of, you know, potential and people drooling over him. Right now, it's like we got to pick him just for the sake of picking him if we get the number two slot. Now, people would say, Mike, what about Buddy Hill? I like Buddy Hill. He does show the aggression. Buddy Hill is... I think three or three years in at Oklahoma, three or four years in. So he is clearly the alpha male of that team. He's dominating. He has the aggression. He's active on both ends, but he is like Swaggy P. He's a pure shooter. He jacks up shots left and right. He's a guard, a nice size six six four guard. But we don't need Buddy Hill. If we didn't have a, you know a, a guard, we have guards. We have Jordan Clarkson. We have Julius I mean, uh, D'Angelo Russell. So we don't need another guard to fill in that slot to take up shots. So um, I like Buddy Hill, but he's not our need. So if we had to, if I had the choice, I would go Ben Simmons and try to figure out how to fit him within our system. Or at least he would be the most talented because he is NBA ready body. And so we have options to make trades within our team. And so I would try to play him at the three and develop, try to <laughs> help him develop a shot or whatnot. But just, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe that would be the wrong pick. And a lot of people will say, hey, Mike, Brandon Ingram is more of a, fits into our system better. And that is probably true. Um, so I don't know. The whole point of this video, guys, is that I'm not excited about Brandon Ingram based on watching him play. And if we did end up picking him, um, it's, it seems like we're going to have to wait two, three years before he fills in, gain about 20 pounds uh, of bulk and be able to really mature and handle his body correctly. He looks like a baby deer. You ever see those baby deers that try to like, that are still finding, trying to find their legs, really skinny, bony legs. That's what he looks like to me. And so he's looked like a bit like a baby. He's not ready to play against men and really dominate at the next level just yet. So it's like, we got to wait. So that's my thoughts. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on Brandon Ingram. And uh, we'll talk soon. But thanks for um, commenting on the videos, liking, subscribing. And as always, hit me up on Twitter at Mike Sports Thanks, guys. We'll talk soon. Peace.